The first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft is expected to conduct its first flight today. The Ministry of Defence has signed a 458 crore rupees contract with Hindustan Aeronautics for the procurement of two Dornier 228 aircraft for the Indian Coast Guard. The six upcoming Apache attack helicopters of Indian Army will feature a distinctive sand camouflage paint scheme that will provide a significant edge in the arid regions of western India. Apart from 45 km range Pinaka Mark 1, Armenia has placed orders for 75 km range Pinaka guided variant and 90 km Pinaka extended range rockets. Researchers from the Indian Institute of Technology have unveiled a marine robot for Indian Navy, designed specifically for real-time underwater tasks like ship inspection and maintenance. India and Maldives held the third meeting of the high-level core group yesterday, to review deployment of civilian technical personnel to enable the continued operation of Indian aviation platforms. Troops of Indian Army's Shahbaz Division honed their tactical drills in an integrated exercise near Pokhran, to validate new operational concepts and synergize deployment of all weapons. Japan's ruling coalition have reached an agreement to ease Japan's stringent regulations on defense equipment transfers, paving the way for the export of sixth-generation fighter jets that are currently being developed jointly with Britain and Italy, to close allies like India and ASEAN countries. Solar Industries is developing Bhargavastra vehicle mounted counter swarm drone system for mechanized forces that has a versatile mountability on 4x4 vehicles. It can simultaneously detect 64 targets from 5 km range and has an interception range of 2.5 km. The system is equipped with a radar and infrared sensors and 8x8 vertical launch system for launching micromissiles weighing 2.5 kg. Once ready, the Bhargavastra hard kill counter drone solution will provide capability to confront modern aerial threats. The DRDO is focusing on multiple kill vehicles technology, as part of India's BMD program, which are a swarm of small and fast interceptors. A single carrier vehicle can carry and launch multiple kill vehicles during the interception phase, and each kill vehicle independently homes in and destroys ballistic missile targets, including possible decoy targets. The multiple kill vehicles equipped interceptors can be launched from ground-based systems and engage multiple incoming threats simultaneously. Amidst growing calls to scrap the 114 MRFA tender, industry sources have said that despite the push for indigenous aircraft production, the MRFA will not be scrapped, as the Indian Air Force faces a critical shortage of combat aircraft, and the induction of both AMCA and Tejas Mark II are still several years away. The Air Force has advocated for the acquisition of 114 aircraft manufactured in India under transfer of technology agreements, and the request for proposal will be issued after the upcoming general elections. The Indian Air Force has issued a request for proposal to Russia's National Aviation Service Company, and has sought a review of the time between overhaul and total technical life of its 11 IL-76 aircraft. The Russian firm will depute a team of technical specialists to India for undertaking detailed in-depth inspection of the aircraft towards assessment of their technical condition, and prepare a detailed inspection report for each aircraft, and the overhaul will be carried out in India. Today's Top 3 Comments